Decisions can be disastrous when made based on misunderstood acronyms, abbreviations, and even terminology. So whether you are a first-time home buyer, a real estate investor, or a new real estate broker, you will find this video as a helpful guide to the common acronyms and abbreviations commonly used in the real estate industry. In this video, I will be speaking in English to save me some time in putting subtitles because I will be releasing a very informative video next week. I categorize the acronyms and abbreviations depending on who often uses it and I also put the meaning for some that I think most people are not familiar with. But of course, if you are a real estate service practitioner, you are expected to know most of it. If there are terms that you want to clarify, just leave a comment below. And to make it easier for you to search for a particular acronym or abbreviation, you can click on the timestamps in the description of this video. Let's start! First, I'll share the acronyms and abbreviations first-time homebuyers would want to know. AIF, for attorney in fact, is a person who is authorized to act for another under the power of attorney, which may be general or limited in scope. AV for appraised value refers to the valuation of a property's value as determined on a particular date by a licensed real estate appraiser. BIR for Bureau of Internal Revenue. CAR for Certificate Authorizing Registration is in effect a tax clearance issued by the BIR relative to the transfer of real properties covered by a transfer certificate of title and condominiums covered by a condominium certificate of title. One once this is issued, it means that applicable taxes on such transfers of real properties are paid and the title transfer with the registry of deeds can be done. Conversely, without a CAR, certificate of title can't be transferred to the new owner. CCT for condominium certificate of title. CI usually means credit investigation which is the procedure undertaken by a financial institution like banks to determine a borrower's ability to pay back a home loan. Basically, with a CI, there is an extensive inspection of the financial standing of the borrower. COS for Certificate of Sale is a document received by the winning bidder at the foreclosure auction. CR for Comfort Room or Bathroom. CTC for Community Tax Certificate is issued to a person or corporation upon payment of the community tax. CTS for Contract to Sell is a legal document that outlines an agreement between a seller and a buyer with a seller promising to sell the property to the buyer and the buyer promising to buy the property. DSUD or DHSUD is for the Department of Human Settlements and Urban Development which is the Central Housing Authority in the Philippines. DOAS or DOAS for Deed of Absolute Sale is a legal document that proves and records the sale of a certain property. DOR for Deed of Restrictions is also known as Design Guidelines. It is a list of regulations that describes explicitly the conditions and limitations lot owners must work with in designing and building their houses and lots. DP for Down Payment is the portion of a property's value that the buyer pays directly with his own money upon acquisition of the real property. The balance may be covered by a housing loan or mortgage. DST for Documentary Stamp Tax. It is a tax on documents, instruments, loan agreements, and papers evidencing the acceptance, assignment, sale, or transfer of an obligation, right, or property incident thereto. FA for Floor Area refers to the area or space enclosed by the expert exterior walls of the housing unit or condominium units. FSBO for sale by owner is literally when an owner sells his own property. GF means ground floor. HL means house and lot. HOA for homeowners association is a non-stop, non-profit organization that oversees the management of a residential subdivision. Membership is optional unless otherwise provided in the contract to sell, deed of sale, or other instruments of conveyance are annotated in the title of the property. HSAC or HSAC is Human Settlements and Adjudication Commission which is a purely quasi-judicial body tasked 
to adjudicate disputes involving real estate developments, homeowners associations, and appeals from decisions of local and regional planning and zoning body. IHF for in-house financing is an option where a real estate developer offers a loan to the home buyer. The approval is usually easy and quicker than banks or other lending institutions, but interest is really high. ITR for income tax return, LA for lot area, LOG for letter of guarantee is a written guarantee released by the bank or financial institution when a home buyer's home loan is approved. The letter informs the seller that the buyer has been approved to take out a loan to cover payment for the remaining balance of the property you have purchased. LRA for Land Registration Authority is a government agency that implements and protects the torrent system of land titling and registration. LTS for License to Sell is a certification obtained by the owner or real estate developer from the DSUD which proves that the owner or real estate developer has a legitimate business and is financially stable to complete the project that they are selling. LTV for Loan to Value Ratio is a measure used by banks or other lenders to determine how risky you are as a borrower. The higher the LTV, the riskier you are. MA for Monthly Amortization is the process of spreading out the loan into equal monthly payments and each month a portion of the payment goes toward the loan's principal and part of it goes toward interest. MC for manager's check is very convenient if you don't want to bring a large amount of cash when paying for a real property that you purchased. MOA or MOA for a memorandum of agreement is a legally binding agreement that is part of a real estate sales contract. MRI for mortgage redemption insurance is a life insurance insurance policy that helps repay your mortgage balance in the event of your death before the housing loan's full repayment. OCT for Original Certificate of Title. Pag-ibig stands for Pagtutulungan sa Kinabukasan Ikaw Banko, Industriya, at Gobierno. PS for Parking Slot. RD for Registry of Deeds. REM or REM for Real Estate Mortgage is a contract where an immovable property like house, lot, or condominium unit is put up as security by the debtor in the creditor's favor for a loan or any other principal obligation. RF for Reservation Fee is a payment made by a buyer to a real estate developer to reserve the property they are about to purchase. RTO for rent to own is an agreement that gives an individual the option of purchasing a leased property from its owner within a specified period of time. RPT for real property tax, commonly known as a milliard, is a tax on the value of the real property a person owns. SPA for special power of attorney. SPS for spouses. SQM for square meters. TB for toilet and bath. TCP for total contract price. TCT for transfer certificate of title. And VAT for value added tax. Meanwhile, the following are the real estate acronyms and abbreviations a real estate investor may want to know. ATS for authority to sell is an agreement or contract between an owner and a real estate broker for the purpose of authorizing the latter to sell the property on behalf of the owner. Such kind of contract may be exclusive agency, exclusive right to sell, or non-exclusive. CGT for capital gains tax is a tax imposed on the gains presumed to have been realized by the seller from the sale, exchange, or other disposition of capital assets located in the Philippines, including pacto de retro sales and other forms of conditional sale. CWT for creditable withholding tax is the tax that is withheld by the buyer or withholding agent from his payment to real estate dealers, developers, operators, and persons or entities who are considered to be habitually engaged in the real estate business. CLOA or CLOA for Certificate of Land Ownership Award is a document evidencing ownership of the land granted or awarded to the beneficiary by the Department of Agrarian Reform. COC for Cash on Cash Return measures the return on the actual cash invested. COM, C-O-M-M for Commission is a percentage of a property's purchase price that is paid to the real estate broker that facilitate the purchase or sale of a property. CREBA 
for Chamber of Real Estate Builders Association, DTI, for debt-to-income ratio compares how much you owe each month to how much you earn. GRM for gross rent multiplier is a metric used to compare rental property opportunities in a given market. IRR for internal rate of return is a measurement of a property's long-term profitability that takes into account the annual net cash flow and the change in equity over time. JV for joint venture is a business arrangement in which two or more parties agree to pool their resources for the purpose of accomplishing a specific task. LOI for letter of intent is a non-binding agreement that outlines the sale or lease terms and conditions. NOI for net operating income is a measure of a real estate investment property's potential to be profitable. TF for professional fee is a fair and reasonable amount collected by the real estate service practitioner for the service he rendered. PFS for project feasibility study is a thorough and systematic analysis of all factors affecting the chances of success of a proposed undertaking. This is an output of a licensed real estate consultant. REI or REI for real estate investing is investing money in real estate today so you have more money in the future. REIT or REIT for real estate investment trust offer an easier, more accessible, and more affordable way to earn from large-scale profitable pro properties without having to pay for their full cost. ROI for return on investment is a performance measure used to evaluate the efficiency or profitability of an investment or compare the efficiency of a number of different investments. ROPA or ROPA for real and other properties acquired or more commonly termed as acquired assets refers to real and other properties. Other than those used for banking purposes or held for investment, acquired by the bank in settlement of loans through foreclosure or the shunning payment and or for other reasons, whose carrying amount will be recovered principally through a sale transaction. TOR for transfer of rights means you transfer your contractual rights and responsibilities to another party. TO for turnover is the process in which physical possession is handed over to the rightful owner of a property. TOB for turnover balance is the remaining amount to be paid before the physical possession of the property is handed to the owner. Lastly, a new real estate broker may need to know the following. BIS for buyer information sheet is a document that collects statements and information about a buyer. The buyer needs to ensure that the information indicated is true. When a buyer will purchase a property from a real estate developer, the BIS is submitted together with the reservation agreement and reservation fee. COMPS or COMPS, properties used for comparison in the real estate appraisal process. CPD for continuing professional development. DBO for direct buyers only. This is indicated in the listing and means that sellers are only willing to entertain the inquiries of the actual buyers interested in the property. They don't want real estate brokers to be involved. FMV for fair market value is the determine value of a home and what it will sell for in an open market. LF for looking for. MLS for multiple listing service is an online database that allows members of the same real estate organization or cooperative real estate brokers to share information about their listings and real estate requirements. MP for marketing partner. PARCS or PARCS for the Philippine Association of Realty Consultants and Specialists Incorporated. Para or or PARA for the Philippine Association of Realty Appraisers Incorporated, PAREB or PAREB for the Philippine Association of Real Estate Boards, PD for Presidential Decree, PKS for Product Knowledge Seminar is a seminar conducted by real estate developers for real estate brokers and their salespersons to learn about their projects. RA for Republic Act, REBAP or REBAP for Real Estate Brokers Association of the Philippines, RMO for Revenue memorandum order, ROW for right of way, TRAIN or T-R-A-I-N for tax reform for acceleration and inclusion, TT for transfer tax, WTV willing to buy, WTL willing to lease, ZV for zonal value. That's it for the real estate acronyms and abbreviations that you might want to know or learn. I hope you learned a lot and if you did, please like this video and thank you for watching Own Property PH. Thank you.